Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Today, again, talking about Bitcoin, blockchain, and life. I have five amazing Bitcoin jars. I have an amazing trading tip. I have some travel advice. I'm answering a question of one of the followers. Of course, two amazing news items today. And yes, ending the video with a beautiful, inspirational quote of Bob Marley. What more do we want on this beautiful Friday here in the, no, not Terra Vieja, Javea in Spain, guys. Let's quickly jump into the jars to show you what is happening to Bitcoin. I hope you bought the dip because I expect this massive run next. Bam! The first chart for today, guys, is the four hour chart. On this four hour chart, we can see that Fibonacci level that we uh, drew yesterday, we found support on the 0 0.5 this Fibonacci level, which is amazing in my honest opinion, because uh, we always find support on these important levels 0 0.5 or 0 0.618. So now 0 0.618 over here, of course, is a resistance level. Uh, we still need to break that level. When we break that level, we will slowly go up with Bitcoin again. And when we look at the chart that we also shared like a couple of days ago uh, is this one. I told you, look at that dotted line. That is the trend line that we are finding support on. And what did we do exactly again? We found support with a daily chart on that trend line. So that's another beautiful confirmation of that trend line. We are following this trend line. So that should mean that we could slowly move up again with Bitcoin. You know, we could move up and maybe retest it again, but slowly move up again to this 80K level somewhere over there, guys. That is what we want for Bitcoin now. On the weekly, we can also see very important that the weekly candle, which is going to close in two days and 18 hours, is finding support on the 50 weekly moving average. That's also a very important line during these bull markets. So yes, also here, finding support on a very important level. Amazing to see this for Bitcoin. Uh, let's jump into some more interesting charts. The first one is this chart. I found this on Twitter, guys. Um, this is a Bitcoin three day chart on Bitstamp. As you can see, every candle is three days and we are looking at the RSI and we are looking, of course, at the price. Now the RSI over here, two tops, one bottom. Then we go even lower than that bottom and then we cross this red like triangle where we go steeply up again, you see? And that is how it reflected in the price in this way. Now again, we saw exactly the same. One, two, we have this one red triangle if we continue this trajectory again the same way we will continue to create a price like this we will go higher and higher and higher which could lead all the way to 150k not in march in my honest opinion it would be somewhere in september 2025 to december but this is how the rsi works every time again and again it creates the same kind of sort of patterns we go above 70 level even 80 level we come down below to the 50 level again we go maybe even lower we grind up again we come a little bit lower we go up again and that's how we keep moving so from here we could go up we could get again go and that's how we create a sideways movement for a very long time until we break out again and when we break out again bam massive run so that's important to understand it is all about patience at the moment on this chart, this is a very dark chart again, I hope you can still see it a little bit, but the chart is showing us that the market is starting to buy. The short term holler price around here of 59,000.5, we need to come above that as soon as possible and stay above that. It's very important that we stay above the short term holler price. And if the market starts to buy, that will happen again and then after that we will create this line as a sort of support. So it won't take long, then we go up again because we've seen this the distribution, now we see accumulation again. This chart is also very interesting, also found this one on Twitter. Um, Bitcoin just printed the highest 200 daily moving average close in history after more than two years, um, which is this blue line over there. That's a 200 daily moving average. The highest was over there. And now we even close higher a little bit. And um, whenever that happens in history, that's uh, indicated by those red arrows, that is the beginning of the second part of that bull market. Look, here, that was the highest daily close. Then when we came higher than that higher daily close on the 200 day moving average, bam, bull market. This was the highest 200 daily moving average close ever. Here, we went higher than that one, bam, 2017 bull market. Here again, that was the highest 200 daily close. Here, we went higher than a 200 daily close, bam, bull market 2021. 
we create the highest 200 daily close over there. Now again, reaching that highest daily close on the 200 day moving average, I expect bam, bull market. Simple as that. How clear can a chart be? This is also a very clear chart by Charles BTC. The Bitcoin price 2012 to 2020, now against 2016 to 2024, both periods of eight years, as you can see. So the bottom line is 2012 to 2024 over here, you can see the total. And, and this one here is 2016 to 2024 at the moment, but we'll go all the way up to 2028 over there. But you can see now we had that top over there. In 2017, the top was on the same period as we had a top in 2013-14. Then in 2021, the top was at the same period and we had a top in 2017. Now the top should be here in 2025 to be in the same area as the top in 2021. We are just over here now. We are just in the first part of the bull market, will slowly go up all the way into 2025 and create another top over here in this area, guys. And that is when again we create a bear market here in 2026 27. You need to step into Bitcoin now to be able to take your profits over there to then again sell them into stable coins and buy your Bitcoins back over here in 2026 27 to again in 2028 at the next halving be very enthusiastic about the Bitcoin price that will be then. It's very simple. Just pause the video and analyze these charts for yourself and you will understand why this moment is a perfect moment to still be accumulating Bitcoin. And yes, again, let's play around with the camera because I have this DJI Osmo Pocket following and face tracking me. So I hope you really enjoy these charts. I hope you really enjoy the views of this beautiful house that we are staying in now here in Gafea. But uh, when it comes to the charts, guys, yes, it's always the same. Bam, going down every time and again and again and again short term there can be volatility short term bitcoin can go up and down that is why people trade bitcoin if you trade inverse with virtual you are accumulating more bitcoin if you trade normal per virtual contracts yes then you're accumulating usdt and with that usdt you can buy every bitcoin dip now and then guys so long term you need to zoom out long term look at that bigger picture long term we are going to go higher and higher and higher when it comes to bitcoin we are just getting started did you see this amazing charts that chart with those red arrows it only happened three times before now happening again we are going up all of the zoom out charts are telling us exactly the same every time again and again we need to zoom out in bitcoin but we need to zoom in and life just buy all those dips lean back and enjoy this amazing bull run it's gonna take all the way into 2025 and yes your emotions will be going up and down up and down but focus those emotion on the emotions that you have about life not about bitcoin bitcoin is gonna do what it always does slowly grinding up to a new autumn high and again a new autumn high and in four years time again a higher price around the halving maybe even 200k at the halving in 2028 we don't know but if we look at the charts that's exactly what the charts are telling us to buying bitcoin at these levels will still be an amazing level to accumulate bitcoin Let's Let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys, is always check these huge wallets of the whales. Yesterday, again, I received a shitload of DMs. Hey, Didi, check the wallet of Mr. 100. And Mr. 100 bought 3,000 Bitcoins. Now, in my honest opinion, the thing that I could find out about that wallet connected to Mr. 100 is that it is a wallet connected to Upbit, which is a huge exchange. So if an exchange starts to add 3,000 Bitcoins to their exchange balance again, that is also positive. It doesn't only need to be a one single person or a group of persons or an institutional investor. Even when those exchanges start to accumulate Bitcoins, 3,000 Bitcoins, that's six times the amount, more than six times the amount that has been creating on that day. At the moment, only 450 Bitcoins, new Bitcoins are being minted into the world. They are buying 3,000 Bitcoins to add it to their exchange balance, probably because they expect a huge ask and demand for Bitcoin. I don't even know for sure if it's a bit, but I read some articles that that wallet is connected to a bit. But for the, all the other people, they call him Mr. 100 or Mr. 100. 180 would be a better name in my honest opinion. But okay, Mr. 100, they accumulated 3,100 Bitcoins yesterday. That's a shitload of Bitcoins. And if it is an exchange or a single person or any other entity, I don't even care. Maybe it's my dog buying 3,000 Bitcoins. I don't care. That means 
3,000 Bitcoins are off the market now in a wallet, staying there probably till Bitcoin goes up in price again. So less Bitcoins available, that means the supply is decreasing. Less supply, less supply, less supply, like, like less supply, shrinking supply. <laughs> and the price will go up because it's a supply shock. Simple mathematics, if you ask me. So that's a trading tip for me. I've already tracked that wallet. I also tracked a certain wallet in the previous bull market. You can uh, look back to that wallet in my tweet that was always buying at the right moment, always selling at the right moment. When we're from one Bitcoin to 100,000 Bitcoins, so he did really well. Uh, this wallet also doing pretty well. Selling at 66K at the previous bull market, buying back again around 58k and lower yes so this wallet if you track these wallets they can be a handy tool to tell you hey maybe i should add bitcoins now as these huge kick as wills are adding bitcoins as well turning to for the day track all these massive wallets I don't know if you can hear it, but the church bells are like sounding at the moment now in the back. Uh, very beautiful with the setting of the village there. It's gonna be some kind of a festival today. I don't know what the whole weekend is a festival, something cultural over here, guys. Uh, but it is not my travel tip. My travel tip for today is when you're traveling and you're searching for places that accept Bitcoin or for ATMs that will uh, exchange Bitcoins or, you know, Bitcoins to cash or cash to Bitcoins, then there is two websites that I'm always using. I am using btcmap.org, that's where I find all the stores, restaurants, hotels, bars, whatever it is that accept Bitcoin, so that's btcmap.org, I think that's one of the best apps out there, and you have Coin ATM Radar, Coin ATM Radar I use to find all the ATMs all over the world, that's how you see, ah, now I'm here, ah, there's an ATM in that shopping mall, an ATM there, an ATM, and that's how I find them. But to find all those places that I already have adoption, I always use btcmap.org, so that's a travel tip for today, when traveling and searching for places where you can talk with Bitcoiners or where you can spend your Bitcoins or where you can exchange your Bitcoins, that is btcmap.org and coinatmradar.com. Both of these websites are amazing websites to find your way around Bitcoin in a certain place where you have never been before. So let's check today what we can do with Bitcoins in Rafaya. Check this map over here. So there's not that many things yet in Ravea. Maybe I should live here for some time and convert them. Uh, let's see what we can do in Torrevieja. Also, not that much in Torrevieja. Yes, it still needs to become Bitcoin cities here in Spain, but two good websites to track everything that you can do in Spain or other countries. Guys, bam! And while the sun starts to shine, guys, I'm going to answer one of the questions that was of the followers yesterday. The question or the opinion was, Didi, I like Bitcoin, but I really don't like the amount of energy that Bitcoin is using. Is this even good for the environment? I waited exactly for the sun to rise to tell you that it's like the biggest, biggest lie I have ever heard. Bitcoin is not bad for the environment. Bitcoin is the greenest way of creating a monetary system at the moment. More than 60% of the miners are working in a very environmental green way. They are using the sun. That's why I waited for the sun. They are using the wind. That's how I feel the wind. They are using water. Bitcoins are being minted in a very green way. This is very good for the environment. The thing that is bad for the environment is the traditional way of the monetary system. Just imagine all the money that you're using daily, that paper money, those coins, how they are being created. They are created because we are growing plants and these plants need a shitload of water. And when these plants are being converted, I'm talking of course about cotton and all those other plants, being converted into paper, they are going to be transported by big ass trucks with a lot of diesel to these huge, huge industry factories where they will be converted by huge kick-ass machines into paper when they are being transported again to the next factory where it's being converted again into money, again by kick-ass huge machines in kick-ass huge buildings that are using air conditioning or whatever else to keep everything cool. And from there the money is being flown all over the world to distribute it to the banks. And in those bank buildings, a shitload of employees are working every day. And sometimes these employees are cold and need to use heating. And sometimes they are too warm and then they need to use air conditioning. And all these employees are behind a laptop or a computer. And those laptops and computers are all connected to these huge kick-ass server rooms. There's a lot of electricity being used by all those banks. Air conditionings, heating, all that monetary system that we know 
that fiat system of coins and paper, even digital, ATMs, everything. Just calculate all that energy. How much are they using? How many of those employees of the banks are traveling with their cars or their trains to their jobs every day? So for me, the banks are 10,000 times worse for the environment than Bitcoin is doing. I don't know what they are doing. I think they are shooting some bankers over there on the back. I don't know if you can hear it, but there is like some explosions going on. I think they are killing bankers. <laughs> so that is really bad for the environment. Bitcoin is collectively looking to mint Bitcoin in the most efficient green way by using the sun, by using the wind, by using the water, and by even using volcanoes in El Salvador. And more and more of these options are being created to mint Bitcoins. And because Bitcoin is limited to 21 million Bitcoins, we know exactly how much energy it will be using till the year 2140. That we can't say that for the banks that are printing money, making coins and all the ATMs and all that stuff and all the bank buildings. Completely different. I am not agreeing with the fact that people are stating that Bitcoin is bad for the environment. I think Bitcoin is good for the environment. I think Bitcoin will make the world greener again. Not fiat currencies, not that filthy money that they need to keep printing, printing, printing and distributing and like all the connections to that banking system that is using a shitload of energy to create shit coins that are being printed out of thin air that is be, that's being backed by nothing, not even by gold anymore and that's creating inflation and that's why they need to print more and more and more and that's why it's going to use more and more and more and energy. Bitcoin has a limited amount of Bitcoins, 21 million. When we end, when we come to the end of the last Bitcoin being minted in 2140, let's talk again about how much energy Bitcoin then is using if you compare it to the banking system now. And yes, even now, Bitcoin is using way less, way less energy than the complete banking system combined. So my answer to you is, fuck the banks, love Bitcoin. Bitcoin is good for the environment. Bitcoin is good for yourself. Be your own bank. Bitcoin is good for everything. Yeah, Bitcoin is king. Bitcoin is king. Just look, shooting another banker. Bitcoin is king. The news for today, guys, is that Wasabi Wallet is ending their coin join function. That's why I loved Samurai Wallet, and Wasabi Wallet, and a few others, because they had the coin join function. It was still possible to mix your coins, you know, to make them kind of disappear, to make them like kind of non-KYC. Now Wasabi Wallet is going to end their coin join function on the 1st of June under pressure of the US government because they saw what happened to Samurai Wallet. Now they want to stop before they will be attacked as well. I don't think this is the solution. I think we collectively as a crypto community should fight for our rights, should fight for our freedom. So I really believe that it's way more important now to collectively come up with this new decentralized wallet that also has a coin mix, a coin join function in, built in that, not with a company behind it so that they can stop it again. That is why Bitcoin is so important, it's decentralized. Which door are you going to knock to stop Bitcoin? There's nobody that can stop Bitcoin because if I keep mining Bitcoin and other people keep mining, Bitcoin will still be alive. Nobody can knock the door and say, hey, Mr. Bitcoin, you need to stop Bitcoin. They already knocked on the door of one wallet and they are going to court. Now the second wallet, they walked on the Wasabi door and they said, hey, you need to stop your coin join because else you will go into court, into prison. So we need to keep producing and creating more decentralized options for the community that can't be knocked on the door. Just create it, let it go. Don't claim that you're the creator, don't claim anything. Just like do it like Satoshi. Create something, give it to the community, and let it be maintained by decentralized workers that just help to program in an anonymous way or to improve the project in an anonymous way. But don't claim to be the project. Don't raise capital, do it for yourself. If you ever have an idea to create a decentralized wallet with a coin mixer or coin joint function in it and you need capital, you can always go to the OGs in this industry, also to me. I will always be there to invest something as long as we keep it completely anonymous, decentralized, no ownership, everything perfectly anonymous so that everyone can be using the coin joint or coin mixer function for the rest of their lives. Not like Wasabi did, they did a great job. 
but they knocked on the door. Not like samurai, they knocked on the door. We need to have something completely, completely, completely decentralized. So that was the news for the day. For me, it's really bad news because I really liked the coin joint function. Uh, but again, maybe we will come up with something better. When one door closes, uh, other door will open, and that door that we open will lead to even a better path with better solutions for Bitcoin and coin joining, coin mixing. That's my philosophy about life and also what happened now to these wallets here in the United States. Which also leads to the quote for today, guys. The quote for today is, of course, of Bob Marley. Look, I'm not wearing my Bob Marley shirt for nothing. The quote is, it's better to die fighting for freedom than be prisoner the rest of our lives. And that's exactly what is happening now. The governments are trying to destroy our freedom. That is why these wallets need to stop in the United States, because they create our freedom. And that is exactly what we should be fighting against as a community, because else we will be prisoners the rest of our lives. So it's always better to be fighting for freedom than be a prisoner for the rest of your lives. That is what we should do now collectively. And that brings me to the second quote of today. The greatness of a man is not in how much wealth he is accumulating, but in his integrity and his ability to affect those around him in a positive way. I think that is way more important than accumulating wealth. Try to be that positive person that affects all the people around him in a very positive way. That is how you really feel rich. I really agree with Bob Marley on that quote. And that is why we now collectively should be helping each other in a very positive way to build something new, a new wallet, completely decentralized, that can't be affected. And that is how we progress as humankind into a freedom future, not into an enslaved future with a central bank's digital currency tied to a social credit system. That is what we don't want. So instead of only accumulating wealth, which is not bad, you can be accumulating wealth, always also focus on your integrity and the ability to change people in a positive way around you. Make them smile, make them laugh, inspire them to become a big entrepreneur that can build whatever he wants in an anonymous way, hopefully. So instead of only focusing on accumulating wealth, which is not bad, you can accumulate wealth, but never forget to also try and affect those around you in a positive way. In such a positive way that they will believe that they will be able to change the world to a better place, to a freedom world. Our future needs to be about freedom. It shouldn't be about central banks, digital currencies. It shouldn't be about a social credit system. It shouldn't be about tracking every move that we make. Not only as a person, but also our finances, everything. They want to see everything and know everything about us. That is not what we want. We want to be able to always have a monetary system that is anonymous. Just like we're using cash nowadays, that paper money, that filthy cash, that still is anonymous. I can give you 10 bucks, you can give me 10 bucks, nobody knows that we are giving it to each other. Nobody can stop it, as long as we agree at the value of that 10 bucks. Bitcoin was intended to do exactly that in a digital way, unstoppable, unconfiscatable, borderless. That is exactly what Bitcoin should have been. That is exactly what Bitcoin intended to be, and that's exactly how we still can use Bitcoin. And even if they stop a few wallets in the United States, we will create new wallets in those parts of the world where we are allowed to create wallets. But hopefully there will be one guy with the same mindset as Satoshi that will create a wallet in an anonymous way and just give it out to the world. And then just disconnect himself completely from it so that that wallet can be completely decentralized, open source, so people can improve with all the world, technical people, in an anonymous way as well. And that is how we decentralize the world and, and create an anonymous possibility for us to always keep coin joining or coin mixing on tokens. If there is already a wallet like that, then let me know down below, guys. Now, that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about everything in the video? Also, wishing you an amazing Friday. I'm going to spend a beautiful weekend here with a big family. So it's my brother, my sister, my uncle, some other friends and families are around. So we are gonna spend some beautiful days this weekend. So I'm not thinking about a life. If I will do a live, I will only do a live on Saturday, which will be tomorrow, and it will be an English live so that everyone can attend it. Guys, thanks for watching. Wish you an amazing Friday. Oh, the sun starts to shine really bright. <laughs> See you tomorrow again. Bam.